Hi, Bill Huffman here for Skywalker. As an electronic distributor, we are often asked to explain the typical 70 volt sound system. In this instructional video, we will answer many of the most common questions concerning 8 ohm versus 70 volt audio systems. Most customers are familiar with the home sound system. Just about all of these systems use common speakers rated at 8 ohm impedance. Most available speakers for the home are typically 8 ohm. Home AV amplifiers expect to see a standard 8 ohm load to make them run efficiently. In this setup, the speaker wires from the amp connect directly to the speaker terminals. Sometimes two pairs of 8 ohm speakers can be used, resulting in an impedance of 4 ohms. If you look at the manual or on the information sticker on the amplifier, you will see some indication that the lowest impedance connected should be not less than perhaps two or three ohms. This varies with your brand and type of equipment. It's important to know this spec for your home amplifier before you connect too many speakers, which could result in damaging the amp. The standard rule is no more than two speakers per channel, no more. But what happens if a home or business needs many speakers to cover all the rooms? In this scenario, a 70 volt system should be considered that will allow many speakers to be wired in parallel without having to worry about damaging the amplifier. A 70 volt system adds voltage to the line to raise the impedance to a high level so the amp can operate properly. At the speaker, a transformer is used to adjust the impedance for the speaker coil. Commercial 70 volt systems are almost always specified when the system designer knows that many speakers will be needed. Long wire runs and overall ease of installation are important factors in commercial sound distribution. One advantage to 70 volt systems is that you can use smaller gauge speaker wire at longer distances without much power loss. Remote volume controls and individual speaker level adjustment along a single wire run are common requirements in commercial sound. 70 volt volume controls should be used to control volume in specific areas. This diagram shows some examples of how these volume controls can be wired in a typical system. As you can see, multiple volume controls can be used for different zones. Another factor is that these systems use a single wire run, but they are not stereo. Usually this is okay because most areas where the speakers are located are far enough away from each other so mono will actually provide more level sound as opposed to not being able to hear the right or left channel altogether. It's important to note that 8 ohm home type stereo equipment does not fill the bill to drive multi-speaker systems, but 70 volt does. Please remember, common home type speakers cannot be used in a multi-speaker commercial application unless a transformer is added to each speaker. And 70 volt speakers with transformers are not intended for home use. Doing so can cause amplifier or speaker damage. However, many manufacturers now offer speakers with a switch to select 8 ohm or 70 volt wattage values. So these will work with an 8 ohm amplifier as well as a 70 volt amp. Home type equipment does not produce enough output voltage for 70 volt speakers to work at their desired levels. Good commercial design loads the amplifier to slightly less than its rating. Each speaker connected to a 70 volt amplifier must incorporate a line transformer to lower the voltage to a level that the actual 8 ohm speaker can use. This transformer is usually mounted to the speaker basket assembly of a typical bulk speaker. The transformer has several wires or taps that can be used to select the wattage level we need. The transformer is marked with a chart of wattage ratings for each color wire. Typical values may be 1, 2, 4, 10 watts, etc., usually doubling as they go up. One full watt on a 70 volt line is most often much louder than you may think. The rule of thumb here is to take the output wattage of the amplifier and divide by the number of speakers to be used. For example, a 200 watt amp with 20 speakers in the system equals 10 watts per speaker. So the transformer wire that is marked 10 watts should be used. 
With a high load impedance, the wattage loss due to resistance between speakers on relatively small wire is negligible. So a wire size of 16 is adequate for small and even large 70 volt projects. 70 volt is really simple to understand when you realize the transformer does the trick. All speaker units simply connect in parallel and total wattage required at the amplifier simply adds up. To understand why small gauge wire can be used at long distances, this example can be used. Your local power company puts up a high voltage power line and installs a separate transformer for each user. High voltage is kept at a constant level and is conducted through a step down transformer to a voltage you can use. The power company is then able to use a relatively small wire size to support many users, all common to a single high voltage line. The reason they can do this is because high voltage at low current equals high current at low voltage. There is more to good commercial sound design than knowing just a little bit about 70 volt systems, but a good working knowledge of its principles will make your job much easier. With this knowledge, you will soon be able to quickly evaluate which amps and speakers are needed on a particular project, and that leads to more efficient use of your time, which then leads to a happy customer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Skywalker.